up guys it's me omar and today i have a really cool product for all you macbook pro users out there and this is the nine in one hub from mkd go so this is basically a usb type c hub that you would use for your laptop because as you guys know apple took away all your different ports that you have available to you on the macbook pro and for other laptops that use usb type c so this is a nine in one hub it gives you all the ports that you would possibly need in order to use your uh, macbook pro or your other laptops that do use a USB type C. So we're gonna check this product out. It retails for $56 on Amazon. I'll have a link down below to Amazon if you wanna purchase it off of there. But uh, let's take a closer look at the MKD Go 9-in-1 Hub. All right guys, so here we have the MKD Go 9-in-1 Hub. Um, included with this is like a really nice pouch. So if you wanna keep it inside the pouch, you can prevent it from getting scratched up or dinged up or whatever. Keep it in your laptop bag, it does come with a pouch. That's kinda of nice. So. Here is the 9-in-1 hub, and we're gonna go through all the different ports and things that are available on here, and I'll try to do my best to explain the limitations and maybe some of the benefits of having some of these, these ports on a hub. So I, I kind of look at this hub as more of a dock for your laptop. Let's say if we're at work, you wanna to get to work, you wanna plug this into your laptop, and then you're, bam, you're good to go, you're connected to everything. Obviously, it's a good travel hub as well, because if you're traveling around, and just to get access to certain things like the SD cards from your cameras and stuff, you're gonna have to have a hub like this. But I almost kind of view this hub as like a, almost like a dock that you would leave at work when you're using your, your um, say your MacBook Pro, okay? So just keep that in mind as we go through some of these some of these ports. So on the one side right here, we have three USB ports and these are 3.0 USB on the back side right here. So on the inside right here, starting over here, we have the uh, uh, USB Type-C charging port. So this is what you can use since this is plugged into your uh, your laptop, you can use this to charge up your computer through here. We have an HDMI port, and this will support 4K. And I believe it will support, let's see here, 38, uh, 3840 by 2160 at 30 hertz uh, 4K. So if you have a 4K monitor, you can plug this into the, you can, that has an HDMI, you can plug that into here and you will have full uh, 4K capabilities. After that, we have the full SD card slot and the micro SD card slot, okay? Keep in mind, you cannot use both of these ports or the slots at the same time. You can hit, you hit the pick between one or the other. They will not work at the same time. After that, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack slash microphone uh, input. And so whenever you do plug headphones into this, you do have to switch on the computer to use this port. So at first I was thinking like, why would I need to have this port if I already have that port on the laptop? I could just plug and trade it to the laptop. But like I said, if you're using this as a dock at your work, you might have computer speakers plugged into here. You might have your monitor plugged into here. You might have your keyboard and your mouse plugged over here, whatever it is. So when you sit down, all you do is plug this one thing in and then you're good to go and everything will work on the computer. So you may not want to have headphones into your computer. You may want to have your speakers or your headphones plugged into here. So that's kind of the reason why I think that 3.5 is kind of handy to have on the little hub itself. Uh, also, Ethernet. So if you want to have Ethernet and have everyone plugged in, uh, if you don't want to be on Wi-Fi and you actually want to have faster speeds, you can plug into the Ethernet port right there and you will have that. And I believe this Ethernet will give you, let's see, let me make sure I get these numbers correct. So they will give you uh, 1,000 megabyte, megabits per second max transmission speeds. So, one thing to consider, so if you're gonna be using that for Wi-Fi, that is pretty handy to have right there, especially if you're like in a hotel or something, if you're working remotely, that would be something that would be nice to, ha nice to have there. So the cable is probably about three inches or so long from here, the USB Type-C, all uh, aluminum enclosure. This is like a space gray kind of aluminum, it looks real similar to like the iPhone colors or even the, the laptop on the, on the MacBook Pro. One thing to consider, this thing heats up quite a bit. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna quote the exact degree temperature, but it does mention on the Amazon page, um, somewhere around 100 degrees. So when this is sitting on your desk, and you don't even have to be using all the ports, I actually used it with everything plugged in all at once, and I slowly took some things out to see if the, if the temperature changed. Even when I was just using just like the HDMI and like one of the USBs or something, this thing gets really, really hot, really, really warm. So keep that in mind. Don't freak out if you notice it does get kind of warm. Um, it is one thing to consider. It's so much stuff that's comp compactly pressed into this enclosure that uh, it's just everything's right on top of each other. So it does get quite hot. So don't expect to be leaving this like on your lap or something like that. This is gonna be have to sitting on a table or somewhere near you. But if you put your hand on it, it is really, really warm. It gets heated up. So that's just the one thing to consider to be mindful of when you're using this. 
Uh, other than that, everything works really well. No issues at all with it. Everything, all the all the ports function properly. It, did, it took me a while to realize why my SD card and my micro SD weren't working, but then I read the instructions and realized you can only use one at a time, so that is one thing to consider. But 4K HDMI, you can still charge through this port right here. Having the Ethernet cable and three USBs on the side makes it a pretty handy hub to have if you do own a MacBook Pro or other laptops that only have USB Type-C. Um, this is kind of something that you need to have in your laptop bag in order to function and do any kind of work because you know not much is available just in USB Type-C. And keep in mind that some devices do not support charging through this dock. Uh, they have a list of them on the Amazon page, so check out the link in the description if you're look if you're interested in checking to see what kind of pro what kind of items or devices are not able to charge with the USB ports on this uh, on this hub. So those are my thoughts on this product. If you're interested in purchasing it, please make sure you use the links down below in the description. It really helps support me and the channel as well. If you have any questions about this product, post them down below in the comment section. I read every comment in all my videos and I always answer back as quickly as possible. If you want to check out some of my other videos, I got two of the clips here you can look at. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can click on my face. I'll see you guys in the next video review.